barcodes are scanned around the world more than 10 billion times a day. It's more than Google search. We are now launching next generation barcodes. One scan, infinite possibilities. Welcome to The Big Question, the series from Euronews where we address some of the biggest topics on the business agenda. I'm Hannah Brown and today I'm joined by Renaud de Barbois, the President and CEO of GS1. So thank you so much for joining us today. For those in our audience who don't know, can you just explain what is GS1 and what, what do you do? GS1 is a global standards organisation. Mm -hmm. We are neutral and not for profit and we are best known for the barcode. The barcode has been named by the BBC as one of the 50 things that made the world economy. Wow. And today, barcodes are scanned around the world more than 10 billion times a day. It's more than Google search in a one day. So just to give you the magnitude of what we're talking about. And thinking about that kind of impact for businesses, the introduction of the barcode, how did it really change the game for businesses? The benefit of the barcode was really around efficiency in mm -hmm. the store, uh, reducing the queues for consumers in the store so that they can go faster through checkout. 50 years ago, the first barcode scan was in a supermarket in the United States, Troy, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And this was a pack of Wrigley chewing gum. That was the first okay. scan <laughs> ever happened in the store. But since then, over the 50 years, this simple scan has helped to connect a physical product mm -hmm. with its digital identity. Yeah. And by doing that, you can have faster checkout, better consumer experience in the store, mm -hmm and a very efficient supply chain. The barcode has been around for you know over 50 years now and it's changed the way um, customers shop and businesses operate, but it's not the plan to stick with it going forward. What's next? So we are now launching next generation barcodes for mm -hmm. commerce to basically power commerce in the digital era, giving consumers and companies more information they can trust to make smarter decisions. What we did is to marry the two technologies, the QR code and the barcode. And we've basically put the barcode inside the QR code. Now the consumers will have access to a wealth of information mm -hmm. about the product. Composition, allergens, how to use the product, if it's a food product, recipes, for example, mm -hmm. or if it's an apparel product, how to maybe recycle, or if it's a beauty product, mm -hmm. you can give instruction how to use the product. Okay. So basically, through the QR code, consumers can have access to the whole story about the product. Now, the beauty of marrying the two is that companies can also use the same QR code to implement more transparent more traceable and more sustainable supply chains. One scan, infinite possibilities. So it does sound like there's actually a, you know, a lot of benefits for businesses of making this transition to QR codes. But do you have any data around you know, the amounts of money that businesses can save or actually increase their revenue through this transition? One of the important use cases that we have for this technology is to ensure that you don't sell outdated products. One concrete example, Woolworths, who is one of the major grocery retailers in Australia, mm -hmm. they've used this technology, next generation barcodes, to implement a better way to manage poultry type of, of products, okay. which are very sensitive from an expired date standpoint. And by implementing this technology, together with a dynamic markdown, they've saved 40% of waste by doing yeah, that. Okay. So there are real concrete savings mm -hmm. that can be made by companies implementing this technology. And that's also a very important benefit for the safety of consumers. With industry, we've uh, defined an ambition that by the end of 2027, okay. all retailers in the world will be able to read those next generation barcodes. Wow, okay, that's quite soon. Do you think this is doable? Yes, we think it's doable. Now it's an ambition, we'll see how fast it goes. Yeah. Uh, obviously it represents some investments on the part of retailers to adapt their point of sale system, their scanning systems, yeah. uh, but it's already well underway. And what's important to mention is that 
The technology is accessible not only to large companies, but also to small companies. Let me give you an example. The first small retailer in the world to adopt QR code powered by GS1 mm -hmm. is a daily shop in Brazil with three shops. Mm -hmm. And in two months, with the support of GS1 and solution providers, they've implemented the technology. Mm -hmm. And the benefit for them was better inventory management, they've reduced waste by 50% and they can connect better to consumers. Because on every product, for example, a cheese that mm -hmm. they sell, they have a QR code. Mm -hmm. And when the consumer scans the QR code, he's got access to all the characteristics of the product. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, if he likes it, you can reorder online with the same QR codes. And just thinking about um, you know, the environmental impact of this, if we're scanning QR codes and that's linking us to um, information that is all going to be stored on the cloud, and you know, I think we are kind of globally starting to wake up to the impact of the cloud. It's a very useful resource, but if we don't use it well, actually it has quite a big environmental impact. Do you think that by all of these companies, if everyone adopts it and then has to have this data stored in the cloud that's connected to the QR codes, Will that have a big negative environmental impact, do you think? Obviously, there is an impact uh, mm -hmm. because that's technology and when you scan, you access the cloud as you describe it. So yes, there is an impact. But what we believe is that by having more information, the consumers will be able to make smarter decisions. Okay. And so by empowering consumers, they will be able to make the right decisions and this will influence products and the products will become more sustainable progressively. The other benefit that we see is uh, this QR codes powered by GS1 can help mm -hmm. implementing new sustainable processes. For example, recycling. Okay. So let me give you an example. In Brazil, Coca-Cola has introduced bottles that can be refilled. Okay. And they can be refilled five times. After that, you have to recycle them. Mm -hmm. So you have to count to make sure that it stays safe for the consumers. Yes. So what they did, they implemented the QR code mm -hmm. with a serial number mm -hmm. which identified the specific bottle. So that each time there is a refilling, mm -hmm. you count. And when you arrive at five refilling, then you know that you have to recycle the bottle. So yes, so if yes there is a cost, but there are many, many benefits for consumers to help them to make better decisions and to implement more sustainable processes. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you so much um, for your time today, Renault. It has been a pleasure to talk to you um, on The Big Question. Thanks very much. Thank you.